The criminal that I chose for my research project is Fabio Ochona Vasquez. He is the youngest Vasquez son at 32 years old and helped run the family business. The eldest brother, Juan David Ochona Vasquez, also helped manage the business at 41 at the time. The middle brother, Jorge Luis Ochona Vasquez, was the chief executive officer of the family cone cane business. He was 40. I decided to do my research on Fabio Ochona Vasquez because he seems to have a very interesting story and there are a few things I admire about him that you will later find out despite the fact he is a drug lord. Fabio Ochona Vasquez was born on May 2, 1957 in Medellin, Colombia. He was the youngest of the three children of the entrepreneur Fabio Ochona Respruto. His father was a so-called businessman, and the three brothers were born into the business as well. Fabio's mother's name was Margarita de Ochona. There is not a lot of information about her because the sons wanted to protect their mother from the dangerous business they were involved in. However, while the boys were in prison, their mother cooked their meals for them because she was afraid someone might try to poison their food, and she owned her own small-town restaurant in their hometown, Medellin. Fabio Ochona Vasquez lived in Miami, Florida during the 1970s and the early 1980s and was said to have handled thousands of pounds of cocaine, he was arrested by the United States government for the first time in 1984 and was allegedly involved in the murder of Barry Seal, an informant for the United States Drug Enforcement Administration on, not, on February 19, 1986. In 1987, he and his brothers were included in the Forbes magazine list of global billionaires and remained on the list until 1992. The New York Times reported that during this period, he was considered the chief executive of the family business. However, in 1990, Christmas seemed to come early in Colombia. One of the country's most wanted drug lords turned himself in at a church 14 miles south of Medellin. Fabio, at 33 years old, was the first chieftain of the so-called Medellin Cartel to surrender under the terms of a decree announced by President Caesar Trulio last week. This is where I began to slightly admire Fabio because he didn't run from the orders of the Colombian president. He surrendered himself willingly, knowing that the consequences of his lifestyle would be severe. With that being said, Ochona was still wanted in the U.S. for masterminding the 1986 slaying of federal witness Barry Seal in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. At this time, he was also linked to a drug trafficking activities with former Panamanian leader Manuel Otonio. After serving short terms in Colombia, Fabio was released in 1996. At the time, Colombia and the U.S. did not have an extradition treaty. This is an act where one jurisdiction delivers a person accused or convicted of committing a crime in another jurisdiction over to their law enforcement. Because of this, the brothers secured a promise that they would be extradited in the future as part of the plea deal. After released, Fabio was arrested again in 1999 and accused of contributing knowledge and receiving payments for cocaine shipments. Despite a lobbying and press campaign, he was extradited to the United States in September 2001 and convicted in 2003 of trafficking, conspiracy, and distribution of cocaine in the U.S. He was sentenced to 30 years in U.S. federal prison, where he is currently held in Jessup, Georgia. After Fabio's imprisonment, the Colombian government seized properties worth several million U.S. dollars from him, including several farms and businesses. On May 1, 2020, 
United States federal prosecutors objected to a bid for Fabio to be released five years before the completion of his 30-year imprisonment. Fabio's life led to a life of crime because he was born to one of the biggest drug lords in Colombia. Much like being born into royalty, it was Fabio's destiny to inherit the family business. He had no other choice but to grow up and manage the entrepreneur business his father had built. To me, his fate made it inevitable for him to be anything other than a drug lord. Although Fabio started committing crimes at the age of 16, he became known around the world and famous for his two cocaine conspiracy counts. He was also made known to society when he was allegedly charged with the murder of Barry Seal. These three charges are what made Fabio Vasquez go down in history as a famous drug lord. However, his crimes are not the only thing that made him so famous. He was also a leader of the now defunct Medellin Ben Cartel, the richest and most brutal criminal enterprise of its time. Because of this, he was named one of the richest billionaires in the country for four years straight. The outcome of Fabio's life of crime ended in a very boring way. He decided to turn himself in. He was convicted of trafficking, conspiracy, and distribution of cocaine in the U.S., as I mentioned previously in the video. These charges sentenced him to 30 years in federal prison. Fabio is currently still in prison serving his 17th year. All in all, Fabio Ochona Vasquez lived quite the adventurous life. He was born into a family business of cocaine, helped commit a murder, was arrested in Colombia, released from prison, rearrested again, and extradited to the U.S. where he will probably spend his final moments of life. However, despite all the awful things he has done, I can't help but slightly admire him for turning himself in so easily. His family had been running from law enforcement their entire lives. He could have easily continued this path of life, but instead he chose to turn himself in when asked. Although he began his life and carried it out in all the worst ways possible, he will be able to end his life knowing he did one good thing.